Hey guys, okay, so it's Monday morning, and I survived the weekend. Two big thumbs up. It was exhausting, guys. They said that the crowd at the convention center was going to be about 25,000. Unfortunately, it was a much lower crowd. They, I think they had about 13,000 for the whole weekend. So it wasn't that busy, but I'll tell you, we probably came across with probably 40 or 50 leads, good leads. Uh, people loved the lyric. They loved the fact that it was green and good for the environment. They loved everything about it. So uh, I'm going to start calling people tomorrow. I didn't want to bombard people with phone calls today, you know. They probably saw shutter people and wood floor people and curtain people and blind people and their phone's probably blowing up today with calls back from salespeople. So I'm going to give them a day or two before I start calling people. But I think, you know, keep your fingers crossed, guys. Say a little prayer or wish for me. I think I'm going to have at least seven or eight sales out of that show. So we need two sales to break even for the cost of the show. And uh, it's going to be good. So why do I have my 229 on camera? What is this video even about? Well... Uh, I said I've got a lot, a lot more gear and other things while I was on my absence from YouTube. One of the things that I had to get, you know, since I'm a 1911 guy, I've got like four holsters that fit everything. You know, I've got an inside the waistband, outside the waistband, shoulder holster, ankle holster. It's, you know, I didn't really need anything more until I got a SIG. That's... Oh, that stupid phone. All right, so I'm back. Uh, so anyway, as I was saying, you know, with the 1911 platform, you really only need a few holsters. But when I got my uh, SIG 229, <clears throat> it was time for a new holster. Now, I'm not a big fan of Galco, even though they do make great holsters. I do own several of them. But I'm not happy with their customer service. I'm not look happy with their you know attention to detail some of their new holsters are kind of shoddy looking and shoddy quality but Anthony PR Chico 520 clued me into Shotgun Shanty who clued me into probably if if not the best one of the best holsters out there the Remora clipless holster <clears throat> this holster does what it says it does you can read you can watch 20, 30 videos online. You can read all the articles. They're all telling the truth, guys. I was a little skeptical. Could it really hold the gun? Could it really do what it said it did? You know, all that stuff. And it does. It's absolutely phenomenal. What a great holster. And I'll show you in a minute why I like this holster quite a bit. Uh, because of my neurological pain and stuff that I have with my MS, I wear basketball shorts quite a bit of the time. And when I'm wearing basketball short, shorts, of course, I've never been able to wear my gun. Well, that changed, and let me show you why. Okay, so here I am with the Remora holster. It is on board. Of course, I am a lefty, so left side. And uh, it doesn't show, it doesn't allow a lot of printing, okay? But, I'm wearing basketball shorts. No belt, just a twist tie, or just a drawstring tie. And I can move around, I can do whatever I want, it doesn't move, I can even manhandle the gun a little bit, it does not move. It's amazing. <clears throat> if I'm wearing jeans, if I'm wearing basketball shorts, whatever I want to wear, I can now go armed. So, as far as drawing goes, it's a quick draw too. So, the only thing I will say about this model of the Remora holster is it's a little bit more difficult to reholster. They do make a model that's got a uh, like a plastic ring in, in the mouth of it where you put the gun in that keeps it formed, <clears throat> but the model that I have does not. So, pardon the fat guy, sorry about that, didn't mean to make you sick. But when I go to reholster, it is a little difficult to get it in there. Okay, so reholstering is not that easy, but I'm not really worried about reholstering. I'm worried about 
drawing. I'm worried about it staying in place. I'm worried about that stuff. And that is where this gun holster is superior. The only other thing I would say about the remote holsters for a design, from a design concept is it does have a closed end. I don't really like closed end holsters because if you get dust or lint or Kleenex or anything in that holster, it can easily go into the barrel of the gun. So I wish that they just chop this end off right here and have it be an open, open ended holster. But it's not going to stop me from carrying. This is the only holster I have currently for my 229. But it's the only holster I need because it does stay in place. Let's, now that I've got the gun back in a holster, you can carry it in any position. You know, carry it at four o'clock like I am right here. You know, no printing, no problem. Very little printing. I, I, I mean, if you're looking for it, you're gonna see it. But you can wear it in the small of your back, left-handed, right-handed, there's no specifics. You can even wear ambidex or appendix carry. Okay, so I've got an appendix carry right now. You know, that prints a little bit because of my fat belly. But uh, it's great. I absolutely love how easy it is to draw. There's absolutely no catch on that. So, Remora, you did you hit it out of the park, baby. I love it. I'm going to be ordering some holsters for the rest of my guns. <clears throat> this one also does hold my 1911 uh, 4-inch. And if you have any need information, I'll put it in the link below. RemoraHolsters.com. 26 bucks, I think it was. I'd rather spend, you know, 60 bucks and get three of these holsters than one Galico leather holster. And I'm a bit of a leather snob. I like the leather holsters, but this is outstanding. Absolutely love it. I will be getting it for my 5 inch 1911s, my 3 inch 1911s. I will probably be getting four or five more of these Remora holsters. So check them out. And uh, let me go ahead and say goodbye. So thanks a lot guys for sticking with me. I got a lot of welcome backs. I did not do a Friday uh, video. I did some Dave on the fly footage, but I wasn't real happy with it, so I'm not going to uh, publish that. But I've got a lot of other things to talk about, so we're going to see you tomorrow. And I've got a couple other things I want to show you tomorrow. And Wednesday we're doing the range. We're going to go to the range. I'm not sure if I'm going pistol range or rifle range. The desert's closed right now because of the firefighting season. So we will be going over to Shooter's World, and I think I'm going to bring both guns. I'm going to bring the AR, and I'm going to bring my uh, some pistols, and we'll just go to both ranges. I got the home warning free on Wednesday, and we'll post those Wednesday afternoon. So I might get a video up tomorrow about questions and answers. Uh, a lot of people told me some of the questions I had about the AR as far as the grip was and stuff like that, and the 916 twist, I guess I was not totally correct on that. But thanks very much, guys. It's great to be back. Stay safe and train. Talk to you tomorrow.